How's it going guys? The last is Joby here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare commentary. We are now at episode number 13 and in today's video I'm here to, to talk to you guys about the current situation of the world. The world is basically healing. And without any further ado, just sit back, relax and enjoy the talk. So, you guys know about the situation, right? The whole world is basically talking about it. The coronavirus. Wow. Alright, so basically I'm gonna, I'm thinking of making this, uh, this certain topic, maybe a two-part, maybe a three-part, who knows how long I can talk about this, but it is something that, there's a good and there's a bad in this situation that we lived in, you know, you know, the title is very perfect because the world is basically healing, um, the coronavirus started spreading or it was started being known around January where in fact it started spreading on December or it was started uh, being found out. But we didn't care that much because it happened in China, in Wuhan province. Um, it was very far away, right? We thought it was just nothing. We, fo we thought that it was just like a, a a minor flu. We thought that there would be medicines for that. As it turns out, there's none, and it's quite deadly for some people. Um, December 30th is what they said that it was first known. At that time, I can remember I was at work, working my ass off. It was very busy. Those were the busy days, man. Then around January, um, we get, you know, it start it, it started like spreading it started become like a a topic every other day and then it got worse because people are dying from it you know what happened in italy in just one day 700 plus people died in just one day because they didn't listen they thought that it was nothing. They didn't listen about the lockdown. You know, they, they were careless, basically. And now they're facing, they're facing that kind of pandemic. Yes, the, the virus itself is pandemic now. The World Health Organization classified it as a pandemic, which is scary because, I don't know, man. This is worse than the SARS pandemic. This is worse than the AIDS pandemic. Um, it affects a lot of business. It affects a lot of people that has jobs. Me, on the other hand, I work at the airport, so we're not that affected, but our times are cut off. So it it's quite hard, especially if you live in San Francisco. The rent is pretty much high. That's the number one problem that we are facing. How are we gonna pay our rent? If we're gonna, if you guys are gonna cut up our time, if you guys are gonna lay us off, you know, that's why the government here in the U.S. are talking about stimulus package and stuff. But that thing is. We are. We're still not sure if we're gonna get it, even though they passed the the Congress passed it. There's still talking about on how it will be distributed you know how will how it will be distributed will there be tax deducted by it and also the number one question is they said that some american citizens will get it not all not everyone what the hell was that right unlike in canada they will get like two thousand dollars in four months for four months you know, that's the kind of government that we want. They take actions really fast. Our president right here is basically dumb. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's saying. He he, he just sugarcoats every single word he says. Uh, I think we're doing a great job. I think we're doing a very, very excellent work. Stupid ass, man. Just be real. He even said that the virus itself is a hoax. What the fuck? Look what's happening right now. This guy, this motherfucker. People voted for this guy. Jesus Christ, what were they thinking? 
right? To be honest with y'all, I'm just a I'm just like a kid. I'm just a kid. I'm just a teenager. I don't really care about politics. I don't really care about what they do in the government as long as they please people. But right now, I give a fuck now. Because our lives are at stake. Our livelihoods, you know, our homes, even though we won't get evicted, it's just that every single day is like a routine for us. We go to we wake up, we go to work, we go home. Now it's different. We wake up, we go to work and go home immediately because our time are cut off. And for most people, they just wake up and stay at home. Quarantine, lockdown. But they're not earning money. They're hoping for that package, that stimulus package, which only is a twelve twelve hundred dollars. Not enough for rent even. Because in San Francisco that is the rent itself, twelve hundred. Maybe that's still not enough. The government is fucked. It is fucked, man. Um I don't know what to say. Other than the fact that the world is healing because the ozone layer is recovering. Uh, most people are at their homes. That means l- less people are are driving their cars, working at factories. So the smokes, you know, the pollution is very less now. And that is great news. That is great news. I saw that image from NASA. They released uh, the pollution in Wuhan before and after. Uh, the uh, the lockdown and it it looks good it looks good in fact indeed and also the the oceans in manila bay is becoming clearer the smogs are clear that's the good side of it that's the good side of the lockdown itself the bad side is that nature itself is sh- is showing us a mirror of ourselves we're the ones that destroying the world. We're the ones that killing it. We're the ones that killing ourselves. It showed us that we are grounded and the nature grounded us. We've been naughty kids. We've been bad boys. We've been bad people. That's why they send us, nature send us to our rooms and reflect. And some people are not pleased with it. Some people are are very impatient. Some people don't know how to follow simple rules. They will go outside still, even if it's a full lockdown. Those are stupid people. Very impatient. They don't care about their health. They don't care about the safety of other people. They don't care about themselves. They don't care about us. Just like the president, he only cares about himself. And since he is a business-minded guy, he only cares about business people as well. He doesn't care about the workers. Nope, nope, nope. That's the truth. That is the truth. Because if he does, if he do care, he will take action immediately. He will. He should. He's the president. He's a monster. I'm not I'm not really that pissed off about him. I'm just mad about the fact that the way he talks is just like everything is okay, which is not. Heck, he even wants to uh bring back business on Easter. What the hell is he thinking? In an interview from Fox he said, Imagine those churches filled with people. That'll be great. No, that will be fucking scary. The virus is not over. We haven't contained it yet. And you want America to be open? You're basically killing us. What kind of monster is he? And how deluded is he? Who's talking to this guy? Who's giving him advice? He, 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 he's not normal. You know? My God, my God. Uh, and I think this virus works for him because... The election kind of like stopped, so he's still the he's still our president. I know for a fact that this will end, 
but by the time it ends, there will be a lot of casualties. There will be a lot of people be hurt and irate. The last thing I want is a riot, a purge, you know. And let's not hope that happens. Oh my god. It's happening. <laughs> the purge is happening, guys. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please do leave a like. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.